Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you six different ways to create the bottom arc for your ring. Three of the ways will be for an even thickness bottom arc. In other words, the ring will have the same thickness at the sides as it does at the bottom. And then three of the methods will be for a variable thickness bottom arc. In other words, the sides of the ring will be one thickness and the bottom of the ring will be a different thickness. The first method that we will use is the offset method. We'll just grab the offset tool, click on our sizing circle, and we will type in the thickness that we want. So we'll type in 1.7 millimeters. Hit enter and then click. And then you need to split this with a line going across the center of the world. So grab the line tool, click on both sides up in the command line, set the center of it at the, or the beginning of it at the middle of the world, hit enter. Hold down shift and pull out to the side to make your line going perfectly horizontal along the middle. And then split that outer circle with that line. And that is your bottom arc made with the offset method. The arc method needs something to snap to. So we'll set a line to the left quad and we'll make the line We'll give the line a length, say 1.7 millimeters, that is equal to however thick we want the ring to be. So after you set the line's length, hold down shift and pull out to the side, and then we'll grab the arc tool. We'll set the center of the arc in the center of the world and snap to the end of that line. Rotate around and snap to the quad on the other side of the sizing circle. Okay, this can also be done with points instead of a line. So you grab the point, snap it to the quad, move the point out by however thick you want the arc to be, say 1.7 millimeters. Grab your arc tool, uh, set the center of the arc in the center of the world, snap to the point, and then snap to the quad on the other side of the sizing circle. All right? And that is the arc method. Okay, so the arc blend method is history enabled. We're gonna start off with a line. We'll snap a line to the left quad here. Hold down shift and pull straight up. It must be completely straight up and down. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna put it on the red layer. So this is a control object or a parent object. And I like to have it on a brightly colored layer. We'll call the layer of parent objects or we'll call it control object and uh, we'll mirror it over to the other side now this is a child object we'll put it on the white layer here we'll call this layer child objects and we'll move it right up under the parent parent layer okay now the child objects will, uh, you know, kind of move as the parents move, uh, depending on what, what kind of child they are. So a mirror object will move in the opposite direction. Let's go control Z that. I like uh, for the child objects to be more subtle, have a more subtle color. Uh, so that's why I moved it to the white layer, but white still kind of strong. So I'm going to click on that color block and just change the alpha reduce the alpha so that the line is kind of see-through, kind of faded looking. By the way, if you're not on the custom color list, maybe you're on one of the other sliders, they should all have this alpha tool down here, alpha slider, okay? All right, so now we'll move this out by however thick we want the arc to be, uh, or the bottom of the ring to be. So we'll move it out, uh, let's say 1.7 millimeters, and then we will blend the two with the arc blend tool. So be sure and click on the bottoms of the two lines. All right, and it's history enabled. So if we move this out, this will move out and that will make the, th the ring become thicker. Um, if you don't remember like how far out you are, you can always move the line, the control line, back in, snap it to the left quad there. And that will, and then you, it kind of resets it for you and then you can move it out a specific distance, say 1.5 millimeters. Okay, you can also rotate these from the center of the world. 
maybe rotate it up up here and it'll maintain that even distance all the way around you can go up, up here or uh, you can also go you know down here all right but I'm gonna move it back up to the side and you don't have to go in perfect 45 movements either um, you know you could move it just a little bit if you wanted all right, and that is the arc blend method and its history enabled. Okay, so for the ellipse method, uh, we're going to draw an ellipse, obviously, but first we need to lay in something to snap the ellipse to. That can be lines or points. I'll show you lines first. So we'll snap a line here to the left quad. We'll make the line, uh, we'll give the line a length that is equal to however thick we want the ring to be on the side. So say 1.9 millimeters, hold down shift and pull out to the side. And uh, then we'll draw another line at the bottom. We'll snap to the bottom quad. Uh, we'll type in 1.6, say that's how thick we want the ring to be at the bottom. And uh, hold down shift and click. Okay, and now we can lay in our lips at the center of the world. Snap first to the end of one line and then to the end of the other line. You may want to split the ellipse by its quad. You know, you may only want this quad like that. Or if you want the whole bottom half, mirror this line over to the other side and then split the ellipse by those two lines. All right. And that will show you. So this is a bottom arc you made using the ellipse method. And now we'll do it again, this time with points. So. We'll lay in a point here at the left quad. We'll move that out 1.9 millimeters. We'll lay in a point at the bottom quad and move that down by 1.6 millimeters. We'll lay in our ellipse, snapping first to one point and then the other. And then again, you can either split it by these two points to get your quadrant of the ellipse, or uh, you can mirror this point over to the other side and split it by these two points to get the bottom half. Okay, so that is a bottom arc made with the ellipse method. Okay, you can also make a variable thickness uh, bottom arc using the arc. So you could call it the arc method. This arc is gonna work a little differently than it did for the even thickness arc, but we do still need things to snap to. Again, they can be lines or points. So we'll do lines first. I will snap a line here to the left quad. Uh, if you want the ring to be 1.9 millimeters thick on the side, then give the line a length of 1.9 millimeters. Hold down shift and pull out to the side. We'll give a line at the bottom. We'll make it 1.6 millimeters. Again, we snap to the, I'll do that again. We snap to the bottom quad, type in the length and hit enter. Hold down shift and pull straight down. And then we can mirror this point, this line over to the other side. Grab your arc tool. Last time we set the center of the arc. We're not going to do that this time. This time click on start point up in the command line. Click on the end of one line, the end of the other line, and then click on the end of the bottom line. All right, so always do your side lines first. Start point, left line, end of the right line, then end of the bottom line, okay? And now I'll show you the same thing using points instead. So place a point at the left quad, Move it out by however far you want, however thick you want the ring to be there. And then lay in a point at the bottom and move it down by however thick you want it at the bottom. Mirror that point over to the other side, the left point. Mirror it over to the right side. And then grab your arc tool, click on start point, click on the left point, the right point, and then the bottom point. All right, and so, and then you can delete your lines or your points. And so that is a bottom arc uh, with variable thickness uh, made using the arc method. Okay, for our last method, we're going to use the arc blend method again, but this time it's going to be for a variable thickness arc. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is draw a straight line, snapping to the left quad. We'll press shift and pull straight up. It must be a, a perfectly straight up and down line. And uh, we'll put this on the red layer for the con 
because it's a control object you don't have to put it on a different layer it just makes it easier especially for the tutorial but I do prefer my control objects on a brightly colored layer and then we will lay in another line snapping it to the bottom quad holding down shift and pulling out to the right now that bottom line has to be perfectly horizontal just like the line on the left has to be perfectly vertical all right and again we'll put this one on the red layer they're both control objects okay now we'll move this line out by however thick we want the ring to be at the side so we'll move it out 1.9 millimeters and we'll move the bottom one down by however thick we want the ring at the bottom so we'll move it down 1.6 millimeters but you know that's up to you you can move it how however far out you need it uh, for your particular ring all right now we'll grab the arc blend tool and we'll click on the bottom end of this line on the side and we'll click on the left end of this line on the bottom and it'll make an arc blend between them hit enter and now we'll click on this line here to select it and we will mirror it across to the other side okay and uh, it's history enabled so we can move uh, these lines out and it will update uh, as we move these lines around okay and this one on the side here you can also rotate it if you want to either down a little bit or you can rotate it up here okay as you as you see fit I'm going to put it back to the side here though and if again just like the other one that used the arc blend method if you uh, want to you can kind of reset the width by snapping you know moving this line by using the move command have this curve selected snap to the bottom end of it and then snap to the uh, quad on the So this is me coming in after I was done with the tutorial. I had even uploaded it to YouTube and I had to delete it because I noticed this mistake here. If you look right here, you'll notice that I have snapped to the tangent and not to the quad. I thought I was snapping to the quad, but I had snapped to the tangent. And what this has done is make it where, if you look right here, the tip of the uh, bottom arc is going a little past the axis line. Now, it probably wouldn't actually impact the project, uh, this particular mistake, uh, but it could potentially. So you just have to be on the lookout for these types of mistakes. And now I'll return you back to the tutorial. And then snap to the uh, quad on the circle. Okay. Do the same with this one. Snap it up there and then move them out you know by a different amount so we'll say 1.7 on the side there and uh, we'll say you can even do you know you can move them out by the same amount and then you get an even thickness arc as well but let's say we'll move this up 0.1 you know so 1.7 on the sides and 1.6 on the bottom or let's go up one more tenth of a millimeter so 1.7 on the sides and 1.5 on the bottom now once you are satisfied with the arc if you want to you can turn off the layer that has the control lines so that you don't see them anymore. But you don't have to, you can also leave them on if you'd like. Well, there you go. That is a variable thickness bottom arc made using the arc blend method and it has history. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos.